Google just dropped a new frontier world model, Genie 3, an AI that can understand how the world works, but can also make you your own little world based on simple text prompts in real time. Genie 3 builds upon the foundations of generative AI models, likely incorporating techniques from areas like large language models and diffusion models. Large language models excel at understanding and generating human language, allowing Genie 3 to interpret text prompts effectively. Diffusion models Models, on the other hand, are powerful at generating realistic and detailed images and videos. Now for how it can make your requests come to life, Genie 3 connects the textual understanding with the visual generation in a dynamic way. So what happens is when you provide a text prompt, the model first needs to understand the scene you're describing, like the objects, their relationships, or some physical properties to get a grasp on what you're thinking. Once this understanding is established, Genie 3 then begins the process of generating the visual world. The key here is real-time interactivity and consistency, and that suggests that the model isn't just generating frames independently, but is likely maintaining an internal representation of the world's state. As the user interacts with the generated environment, Genie 3 updates this internal state and renders the corresponding changes in real time. This requires a deep understanding of how objects within the world should behave based on certain inputs or events. For example, if the prompt is me walking in the desert, Genie 3 needs to understand how my character might move or how the environment might affect my movement. How Genie 3 understands physics is through its training through observation. The model was trained on video data, so it learns that objects fall down, for example, because that's what they do in the countless hours of video it has seen. But for how it remains consistent in the generation is through its architecture of an auto-regressive model and emergent visual memory, meaning it generates each new frame by looking at the frames that came before it. So, it simply builds upon the visual data that it has already created.